Hi and welcome to another another vlog, another little situation where I just sit down and talk. Uh, I wanted to make one yesterday. For several days I've been just like postponing and not feeling ready and I don't know what to say and I want it to be spontaneous but I think I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna start and it feels right and I'm gonna start and I hope the camera is straight. I'm always so like I don't really have an eye for like a straight line. Is this the way it should be? I think it is. I think it is. It's a straight situation. It's a straight line, right? I hope. I just don't have an eye for that. Sometimes with pictures, I know like I love photography and I know with like a horizon it's supposed to be like just the perfect straight, but sometimes I just I just don't see it. I just you know, it looks straight and then like months later I look at the same picture I took that I love and I was like this is one of my best pictures and I'm like, "Oh no, the horizon is crooked." Not crooked. I guess it's tilted. Is that the same thing? I don't know. Um but yeah, but that's that's a thing. Like I just don't see that. But I'm gonna talk. I think like <clears throat> the idea here is that I'm just gonna do a spontaneous vlogging thing. And I think like I always thought that I have to have a theme. And I'm gonna do more themes. I'm gonna do more like books. Um, I can show you all the books I'm reading for no reason. Um, I'll tell you what I think so far because I'm such a slow, such a terribly terrible person in that sense that I'm such a slow reader of poetry and I think this is this is the poetry I'm always reading this is nothing new I don't know if it is for I don't know if I talked about this but Sylvia Plath I'm reading uh, I'm reading Emily Dickinson I showed this one before this is my favorite this is my favorite po poetry collection of all time and then we got selected poems William Butler Yeats. So I'm always reading these three and I'm taking them from inspiration. I'm taking inspiration for it from them for my own poetry book. Um, and I'm still reading The Waves. I think I made a video on The Waves, but I'm still kind of like reading it again for the fifth time or something. I don't even know. But I'm, I'm such a slow reader with that one too. But since I already read it and it's a favorite, um, it's, it's, it's a great book. I'm also reading All the Light We Cannot See. This is just some book I found. I to me, I was like, this is a, I don't know, do people know about this one? And then they do. I sometimes don't keep up with like the modern books um, a lot. But this, this, this one I started really good, really beautiful. I love it so far. Um, Franny and Zoe is a great one. Actually, I think it's becoming one of my favorite books. And what else? Come As You Are. Really recommend for someone who is, someone who was a late bloomer. It was an interest. I'm just kidding, I'm not going to talk. <laughs> but someone who was a late bloomer and, and just had a weird slow puberty and, and didn't learn a lot about, you know, what late, I really recommend this one. Um, especially if you're, yeah, any, whoever you are, read, read Come As You Are. You will benefit. I think it's a book everyone can benefit from, for sure. Uh, on a costume Earth, um, it's short stories and they're all different i thought it would be the same um the same story but um so i was like surprised when i came into the new one but it's really a really really good one and and beautiful beautifully beautiful and touching we have as you like it william shakespeare I just started the thing with shakespeare you have to do some sort of research every time you read a Shakespeare book because it's hard to sometimes grasp, especially like I'm really bad with reading plays. I suck at reading plays because they are so just keeping like if it's a, you know, like it's a bunch of different characters and you know, it's, it's, this is just, yeah, I'm a, old or new plays. I'm not good at I have to help. Computer has to be there and help me. And then I'm also reading The Emigrants, Swedish um, author, and I'm this one is the first and then it's this one. It's, it's about the emigration to the United States. So those are the books I'm reading. I'm reading billion, millions, trillions of books. This is not like the way you're supposed to do it. These are books I started to started reading in, in springtime. And I'm just like, I can't focus sometimes on, on books. But I think I'm getting more into a headspace. I'm just like, I'm focusing on what I'm reading. I'm taking the books in. And I have definitely done that so far lately with with um, a lot of books. This is my bow. This is my favorite bow. I'm going to show you my favorite bows. Um, which is this one. And I just think it's this one too. I think I, ha I have a um, little um, 
box with bows. I used to be super into bows when I was like 20 and I can still be on and off. Now I just wear it for videos. I never wear it out or anywhere. I just wear it for like a photo shoot or whatever and I think I like matured a little bit with them over time so I prefer kind of like velvet or, or just like a smaller one because I used to wear like a big giant, not really giant, but like I used to wear like purple, bright purple, bright yellow and matured a little bit but I do like, I do like it a little bit. I like to just be a little like, you know, stuck in my teens a little bit. I'm always going to be. Let's be real. Cowboy hats. Um, some people have said that I look better without cowboy boots. <laughs> cowboy hats or cowboy boots and I honestly, I agree. I do agree. I don't think it's... I think it's kind of like a... Country music is never going to be a face. But um, I think a certain kind of... Um, you have to put on a cowboy life. <laughs> Just I don't think I'm going to do as much. Because I love the pink cowboy hat. I think I put it on sometimes for a song or whatever. But I um, I don't think um, I have to make myself a cowboy girl. And I don't want to have that image. That's not me, really. I don't. I think it's just that, oh, it's country music, so a cowboy hat. But it's not me, I think. It's not my thing, really, to do that. I think about that, too. I think when I'm making this video, it's kind of like... I'm always... I'm always going to do country music and I want to, you know, be in a country music band at some point and I think it's going to be post-university where it's like I go out and I look for a band or something. Um, go out and I look for a band, no, but I go and try to find people and I try to be in a country music band. Um, and I'm going to find people maybe on the internet or wherever. But um, I sometimes just think about it creatively. I don't think it has to be the main thing. Sometimes I'm like, Poetry, yeah, it's just a small thing I'm doing or like photography, but sometimes like sometimes I just want that to take over too in my just my life. I let whatever you just feel is right take over creatively. It doesn't have to be the one thing you did for five years. You can like leave it up for a bit sometimes to be honest. And I don't think I'm never gonna leave country music. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying that like, you know, I wanna make vlogs too. But I don't know if, if I'm gonna make many. I think I just love them for myself and whoever um wants kind of a friend or something like wants like it's it's a great way to connect to people i love reading longer comments i get on these videos sometimes i think that's very nice because it's kind of like a a friendship you start building more with your youtube friends when you just like show personalities so i think i want to just make more vlogs i made a few and I always get a kick out of them and i get happy when i just am in that mood and i'm like yes now i have um excitement and energy for it so let's let's just get into it and let's just make it but I want to make more I want to make many more many many more but I just it's kind of like a thing with with any kind of YouTube video it just kind of takes up a entire day and thankfully I'm in university and it's like I can build my life however and thankfully I have summer summers where I sometimes I need to work and some summers I can do without it and but as soon as you know as soon as I'm living on my own for real and I have a job of course I'm gonna like need that job always <laughs> but for now it's it's just like it's this kind of like freedom I have that I don't know really what no I don't know what to do about and the freedom that I have is wonderful and beautiful and I love to um, grow a lot in it just on my own but I think the reason why sometimes I have a hard time prioritizing or really just like let's um, just let's do this one thing. If it's like a poetry book that I want to write or if it's like I'm going to make an album with country music. I think the problem a lot of times is just, just a certain kind of like loneliness. And I thought I would um, make a video on that today. That was like uh, the video. Um, and I wrote down... I did write down some some kind of like um, notes on that, but there are not many. I just wanted to, to just make a video about, about being lonely and just kind of like when you have goals and dreams, but you're also just in a place where you need like to connect. And I definitely am in that place where it's like I need um, like more friends because I'm not gonna say I don't have any I have friends 
but sometimes I just sit around and realize I don't really have a certain kind of like deeper connection to anyone and sometimes what's never really talked about is that maybe when you're experience experiencing I don't know why I get shy and weird about this topic um, maybe because it is a vulnerable topic maybe I don't know but it's hard it's hard to talk about it, it really is I thought maybe this is why this video is not really made yet because yeah but I think I'm gonna take a break but I'm gonna come up come back but I've been thinking about I've been thinking about that that there is a certain kind of um, connection that you sometimes need to have with people. I mean, you can have like you know acquaintances and friendships that are kind of like on the surface and sort of friend friends, and I think those are all very valuable connections. But sometimes you just kind of sit around and go like, there's a certain kind of deep, deeper connection that I would need right now um, because. It would definitely help me. It would make me feel more powerful. Powerful is not the right word, but it make it would make me feel more like I can do anything, and I, I have someone that's there and and kind of like watches me just go through changes and things, and and you can kind of like toss ideas of like just like growth and kind of like um, growing up. Because I think like in our twenties and in our thirties, and as long as we're still like kind of like young and I think like our whole lives we are always we're always kind of growing up but sometimes you kind of want someone to be there with you and go through um growth I guess and I think like sometimes I wonder if that's like a if I have like too high hopes on that or what, what like depth is in a friendship and maybe that's why I sometimes struggle maybe I just like hold my heart out for a friendship or someone that's like a depth that doesn't exist um, and that kind of hurts me sometimes because I have had great friends and I have great friends but I may not have like a best friend or ever felt like I've had a best friend that's kind of like um, a certain uh, just we get each other all we talk always or I don't even know like I feel like that's something I never had people kind of talk about just like we stayed up talking like all night long I never don't think I've ever had like of course I've had it, but not as much as I think other people have had that. And um, something I don't think, I don't know how to put up, I'm gonna think. This is my joy, I just have to talk about, I have to talk about my disco ball. I'm just, <laughs> I just gonna talk about it. I just, this brings me so much joy and it, I'm just, I don't know what I said. Before I took a little break from making this video, but I just I just saw my disco ball and I'm like, I I it makes me happy. I just need to talk about it. Okay, that's it. Bye. And this is the cat. We got a cat. Here's the cat. I wouldn't need to show you my cat. My kitty 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 cat. Um, yes, I agree. That's a valid, valid point. You are right. Yes, I I agree. I agree a lot. Anything else? True. Sorry. <laughs> no, but I don't know. I think this is more of a little, um, a little heads up video for like future videos. I wanted to talk more about loneliness, but I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what to say right now. That's. I've been trying to make vlog for the longest time, and I, I, I just don't really know what to say now. I had topics. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about books. Uh, I'm gonna make more covers for sure. No, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up a little bit because I, as I said, because I don't know if I have too much to say. It's just kind of like a heads up. More videos, more videos are coming, and I'm gonna um, sing more for sure. And I'm gonna try to push sort of uh, my singing out there a little bit more. And that's kind of the thing. Like I'm kind of sitting around and like um, this last year with university was super hard. And I think you know gonna continue to study so I guess it's gonna be still a little bit hard um, to to have that kind of over me but as soon like I'm so excited the day that I like just have a job and I don't have to be in school anymore and I can just like be out there in the real world <laughs> more and just just do that but um, I'm doing lots of things I'm trying to work on like a poetry book I'm trying to do many things and but I'm just saying like a certain kind of like loneliness just kind of like sitting around with with that and and um, not really having much people to connect to this last year. Um, it's been a little for sure, but it's like 
with the pandemic so much of just like the past just people just flew away um, and so many people graduated that I met like in the beginning of 2019 and they're not there anymore but I'm gonna try this fall to make more friends and all that so yeah but I've had a certain kind of like loneliness and just like sitting around and like I lack a certain kind of like emotional connection that I just don't have or I don't know if I've ever had and, and I want to talk about that I want to make more topics um, but I'm not like do you have a day where it's like I don't feel deep I don't feel like I can reach in for like deep thoughts today I just kind of want to be happy and free and, and it, it it is one of those days but um, sometimes it's like yeah I do I do want to be a country singer I want to be an author I want to write children's books I want to write poetry and I'm doing all of that I think that's the thing like that's what I'm trying with I am doing it but it's just like um there's just like a certain loneliness that I've, I've always had I think that's like I just like miss I miss something I never had you know what I mean like you just kind of like miss someone with mutual interests or ways of thinking and it's just not a person that's there currently my battery is about to die and I think now I think like with with the pandemic and coming kind of it's coming back that's what sucks that's why I think like still kind of studying is the smart choice instead of just like starting new and moving out and and doing a job that I'm like I just know myself I'm just gonna I'm a lone wolf I'm just gonna sit by myself anyway and like whatever it is is not probably gonna be much anyway because it's like a third wave or whatever is probably probably coming um but I, I definitely I definitely want to you know find more people with mutual interests and I haven't tried much and I think that's my problem I sit around and I'm like sad about that but I'm gonna try my my best to find more people who sing my kind of music and maybe one day just get into a band um, and yeah I'm gonna write write my book and that's pretty much it and I think like it will come when it comes I know people say that to me and sometimes I'm like well it doesn't because like I'm just here all the time and I have a hard time getting out like <laughs> I have a hard time finding my way sometimes but I think like I'm just getting more excited I am in a happy happy place for sure I definitely am but I I just have this like I don't know how to start things but it's it is like a beginning kind of vlog I think I made tons of those I feel like I always make this sort of like let's start a new chapter or something but it is one of those videos it's just like a new chapter and song recommendations you can definitely drop more like good country songs old I love the old 50s 60s country songs that's my favorite I love all kinds of music I listen to pop music all the time but I prefer really to sing it doesn't really suit me as a person a certain kind of like edgy pop star vibe um, but I love old 50s 60s country songs and drop more recommendations of those songs because I want to sing more more of those um, I know this video is all over the place I was like I'm gonna make a vlog but it's like I don't know what to, I don't know what to talk about I don't know if that's my thing I don't know if I want to make those a lot but um, maybe a few but I'm gonna play more more on this instrument and I'm gonna find more people on YouTube to sing with if you want to um, definitely prefer you know folk singers folk folk singers and country Country artists, those are my favorite people to sing with at the end of the day. Um, always always up for it, maybe it doesn't always have... There's something about collabs, I just have this, like, I just get so... I get so much resistance every time I'm trying... I'm making a collab with someone, because it's like, I get so... Like, per, I just procrastinate it because I want it to be good, but I'm scared that I won't be, and I just get a fear. But um, when it's like singing and I'm supposed to sing with someone else, I always get like, oh no, like, just that this procrastination is just like antisocial too, even if I love doing it. Once it's happening, it's, it's a wonderful thing. But I'm just like, I'm just trying to like, see myself more and realize that I, I'm gonna try with things. This is, oh, okay, I'm gonna end it. No, wait, change the battery. I'm, I'm definitely gonna share more poetry and I never share prose, but I'm gonna start doing that, sharing kind of like maybe short stories in a way. I don't know how to put that out there, but maybe I'll do that. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna wrap up this little, like things are coming. I don't know what this was. What is this video? I don't know, but um, things are coming. I think that's kind of the thing, but yeah, bye.